Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be doing a little plan with me for 2020. This will be my bullet journal setup. This year, 2020 will make the fourth year that I've been bullet journaling. And I didn't even realize I've been doing it that long. But I was looking, I was going over all my past journals with my sister and I was like, wow, I really been doing this a long time. However, I started in September 2018. So I haven't completed a full year of journaling as yet. There's always at least one or two months that I just don't even have in the book or I have a spread and I didn't fill out anything. And my my bullet journal journey is always has its up and downs. It's like some months where I do it every every day and then I go some months where I don't do it at all. And actually this year I was thinking of just buying like a happy planner so I don't have to do any of the work myself. But I ended up getting this Clever Fox journal for Christmas. So I was like, I may as well put it to use. Now, for the past couple of years, I've been using the din ba dingbats. I've been trying to collect all of the animal collection and then the earth collection. So I have three of them right now. And if I continue doing bullet journal this year, when I run out of this book, I will just buy a next dingbats just to continue my collection. If I feel like I have a nice thing going right now. So this is my title page. It's 2021. And... I couldn't decide between discipline and growth for my word of the year. So I just use both. Why not? It's 12 months in the year. I can do two things. So these are my words for the year. And I just put a lot of pictures that go with growth or phrases that go with discipline. I think these, I think these two words resonated with me a lot because I started a new job. And a lot of times I feel like I'm behind or even sometimes in life you feel like you're behind just because you're not as good as something as other people are and I think it's okay and I'm trying to tell myself like it's okay to be new at something and it's okay to grow and to get better at stuff like you can't automatically start something and be amazing at it you have to grow and you have to let yourself accept that and then discipline because even as something with bullet journaling is something you have to be disciplined with. You have to keep it going. And that's something I want to tie into this year. Just consistency, discipline, doing what I need to do so I can live how I want to live. Actually, one of my favorite poems from is from Rapi Kua. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. But it says, you don't just wake up and become the butterfly. Growth is a process. So that's why this butterfly is here. That represents you have to... You have to go through those stages before you can end up with the big end goal that you want. So here's my 2020 calendar and events. I wanted this um, spread to be very simple. I know a lot of people spread this over like two pages, but I honestly don't use these a lot. I just want it there so when I'm doing my monthly spreads, I can flip through and see how the month is set up. And just so I can remember everybody's birthdays because if I don't write down the birthday, I will forget it. So I have it in my planet and I have it in my phone and I always set reminders for it. So that's just, that's the main reason I do this. I don't need a big uh, a two pages because once the month comes up, I'm going to have a big calendar and put the days when my events are going to be. The theme for my journal is all grays and pinks and flowers and butterflies. And I have no clue where I got that theme from. I just woke up and I was like, you know what? this is what I'm going for and it's weird because I don't even like pink <laughs> pink is not one of my favorite colors so the fact that I was like I'm gonna use pink and gray I was like okay Chia you do what you gotta do but I like the theme I liked how it turned out I like doing all the little flower doodles and finding different ways I can incorporate the colors in the headings and all of those things it was just really fun to me and as I was doing it I was like wow this is why I can't just buy a a regular planner this is why I love doing the bullet journals because I actually really like doing all these little doodles and a bunch of just creative st things however I did find that the reason I one of the main reasons I wanted to stop bullet journaling was because I was watching a lot of people bullet journal and they would have these wonderful spreads with all kind of drawings and I wanted to do that however my schedule doesn't allow for that. I can't be there for so long doing all these threads, spreads. And it became like a chore to me. Like I was like, oh, I can't believe I have to go do a next weekly spread or this or that. And 
that's why when I was doing this, I was like, everything has to be very minimal, very easy, nothing too hard because this year is the year of discipline and I actually want to finish the whole year in my journal. I want 2021 to be the first year I do the whole year without stopping my bullet journal. So this next page is my goals page. I just made five, four boxes. Normally I have five and I do spiritual, financial, mental, physical, and emotional. No, relational. But I scrapped that. I picked four boxes and I picked the ones that I wanted to track the most. And I aimed for at least three in each. And then under each I have subcategories, but I didn't write them here. I just wrote the main three. So my four things I want to track is work or career. And then I have spiritual, fitness, and personal. Now, I picked these four categories because these are the ones that for sure, for sure, 2021, I have some things I want to do for work. Like with my career, like I said, I'm doing a new career. So I want to learn some more. There's some classes I want to learn how to teach all of that good stuff and spiritual spirituality is a big thing for me and I've been I fell off a lot on like reading my bible or just as simple as going to church and tithing so those are things that I want to do this year and then fitness normally I would have physical but my goals aren't just physical things I want to be able to do they're overall fitness fitness things that I want to learn like I want to learn how to do pistol squats and handstand walks and all of these things so that's what I want to do for that year and then personal personal is just basically everything that's not that <laughs> basically then my next page is for my vision board the vision board is going to be tied to my goals that I will fill out in another video for you guys so this spread is my books to read spread my goal is to read 12 books this year and to do a devotional every week um but i expect that i'm gonna read more than 12 books let me tell you why because every month i pick a fiction and non-fiction book for me to read and yeah i actually read quite a lot of books in october and november and december and that really surprised me so that's why i have so much confidence in myself that i'll be able to read more than 12 but right now my minimum is 12 for the year just because i fell off a lot on reading I used to read a ton and I fell off so that side is just the books to read and I wrote the months out and I have little columns so I can write the name of the book that I want to read and I can um, do a tick or color the box in once I finish reading it and there's five that way I can have my fiction non-fiction the devotional I'm reading and if I decided to start a new book that month then I have the space for it I also left the space just include just in case I wanted to do like an audiobook um, or I do sometimes you know when you read little articles I or journals I want to buy some more journals sports journals and stuff so I want to write them down as well so I just gave myself a lot of space but this side of the spread that I'm working on now this is the books of the Bible I want to read the whole Bible in 2021 and so what I did was I wrote the little, a cute little shelf and with books and some plants and some candles on it. And every book represents a book in the Bible. And once I finish reading that entire book, I will color it in. So it's almost like how people do, people do this for normal books to say how many books they read in the year. But this is strictly for the Bible. So I even went through and I labeled all of the books with the letter of letter of that book so genesis exodus leviticus numbers deuteronomy each of them have their own their own one so just in case i move around like say i read isaiah i can color that in and i know where to find it if i read mark and then i go to genesis if i go around there's no problem so this cut out a lot because my camera died and i didn't realize so i just did all of the lining for all of my other pages while it charged and once it was back up and running, I just decorated everything on camera for you guys. So I'm just going in, picking the colors that go with my pink and gray theme, coloring everything in. I really like how my doodles turned out on this page. That was like the best part to me, honestly, especially that big plant on the top. I was like, wow, I can do this. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is my books to read spread. It goes with my goals. And you'll see that I'm using a lot of these stickers. Now I got a lot of stickers from the Happy Planner. My sister used to do Happy Planning. And she has she gave me a lot of her stickers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to use these. That way I wouldn't have to doodle as much. And I still ended up drawing flowers. But I like them. They came in handy. And a lot of the stickers tied in with my theme. Now when I started this fitness tractor, you could have seen... You saw that I pasted an X paper down. It's because I made a boo-boo. And I put the letters for the month too close together. So I just cut out a piece of paper from the back that I knew I wasn't going to use. And put it back to the front. So these two trackers is my fitness and my savings tracker. Um, they go back to my goals that I want to do. For my fitness, I want to track my body weight as well as my body fat. And I just have my goals to the top. And then my savings tracker. I have six columns each to save up a thousand dollars and every box is a hundred dollars so it's ten boxes so once i reach that once i reach a hundred dollars on whichever say account i'm on i will just shade it in now this next one it goes with my savings challenges and this is the 100 envelope challenge so i can save up some money i'm gonna do this with my sister and my mother and we have all of our envelopes already and i got that spread idea from a actually a budget i can't remember but if i can find her video i will link it down below so you guys can see but she did it and i was like this is brilliant so the hair is my final flip through of my 2021 setup So moving on, this is a 2021 setup and that cannot be complete without doing my budget. I am a big budgeter. I do cash envelopes. And so this year I did my cash envelopes, my sinking funds over. I revitalized it. That was just my planet, my tr budget tracker um, journal that I had. And now I'm just going to show you guys how I decided to decorate my cash envelopes, my sinking funds for this year. I had these stumps from... I think I got these last year for a theme I wanted to do in my bullet journal and I rarely used it. So I decided to pick them out and all I did was in the left hand corner of all the envelopes, I wrote out what it's for. Now I was going to put it in the middle and I was like, oh no, no, something is drawing me to the left hand corner. So let's do that. Now for my envelopes. For the cash ones that I'm going to be using every day, I did buy some laminated ones from Budget by Trisha. I think it's Budget by Trisha. I will link her stuff down below. Um, honestly, she was just, I was like, I need some laminated ones to go in my purse. And I needed the small ones because I have a small little coach wallet that I take around with me. And I watched her video and she was like, I opened the shop and I was like, I am going to buy from her. And they were, they're cute. I'm going to pick them up next week. And yeah, I'm actually really excited to start all my goals for 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye.